say, folks? Glad y'all see me. Hey, we got an old Husqvarna 455 Rancher up on the bench. Gonna throw some fresh fuel lines on it. It had an air leak. Had it running, but boy, she run awful. That's not what we're gonna cover today. I wanna point out a little something that I've stumbled on, and I hope it helps you out too. It has to do with the carburetor on this particular machine. It's a wall burrow. I want to show you what I'm looking at, but before we do, hey, take you a minute. Check out Turning Wrenches 85. He's got some good stuff. You're going to want to see it. And while we're mentioning it, hey, take this opportunity to hit that subscribe button. Do the little dingy bell. Y'all know where it's at. Hey, come on around here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let me talk at you for a second. This is a Walboro carburetor. It's a Walboro. And the model number on it, WTEA. Got that uh, code of 011 down there. But this is what I want to point out to you. Your high and your low speed adjustment. Looks like you could just stick a screwdriver and then turn it. You can't. Get in here. And you can turn it, but you can only turn it part of the way. That collar is actually a limiter. You can mash it down and it push that spring back out of the way. Let's see, can I show you? You can push it back, and now if you could get another screwdriver in there while you're running it, well, you can rotate it and make, make your adjustment. But how hard do you think that is to do? I got my handy dandy carburetor adjusting kit out, and lo and behold, what do I find in there? And look at that. Let's look at how simple it is now to adjust that carburetor. That's going to be pushed down over that collar, depress it, and now I can make my adjustments however I please. While it's running, by golly, hey, if you're running into this little issue, check out one of these little Carburetor adjustment kits, it'll help you out. Hey, you never know till you try. Dig in there. You be like me, you stumble across that thing. Yeah, by God, I just stick a screwdriver in there. Didn't work out for me. Fortunately, I had this little old tool kit over in the box. Took me a minute to figure it out, and I'm sure a lot of you geniuses already knew about it. But hey, Hey, somebody out there didn't know. If you interested in a little set of these uh, carburetor adjustment tools, I'll put the link down in the description. Might help you out. Meantime, I got to get back at it, get these fuel lines on, get this carburetor back on, and get this baby humming. Hey, I appreciate you checking us out. Don't be a stranger. We'll see y'all next time. Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs>